Hey there, tubers, right? I'm Brian here. So, I thought I'd do a quick video of this computer I just picked up. My uh, next door neighbor is a scrapper and he picked this up off the side of the road. So, I plan on turning this into my uh, security system computer again. It's going to be replacing this one. Pull it over here, which is an MDG piece of junk. Um, this one is an absolute hunk of junk. It was good while it lasted. Uh, it came with a hard drive. If you remember this one, this is the one from the um, trash trash pick computer story. Random cat. It's not absolutely horrible, but one minor problem it does have is it has to use that video card right there. It does have PCI Express slots in it, but I got no PCI extra PCI Express video cards, and. Um, because I cannot find the drivers for the onboard. And it's an MDG. MDGs suck, so. This one here is a compact. And uh, it, w it does actually work. I, I had to put RAM in it. I actually had to steal the RAM out of that one. And uh, put it into this one. Um, I couldn't find any RAM that would fit this. But then, uh, of course, as soon as I find RAM, I found a stick of RAM that would fit this. Just, just one, though. So, I uh, just st st stole the RAM from the other one, put it in. This does have three hard drive slots, so I plan on filling all three hard drives. With This one here has four hard drives in it, but um, when the one hard drive that is SATA, I'm just going to put it into an enclosure, because I'm just going to run three IDE hard drives in here, which I hopefully it says have IDE slots. Yeah, right there. Uh, Shoot, this only has one ID slot. That may be a bit of an issue. I'll have to work out. This only has one ID slot. Hmm. That's the blue one right there. So actually, that may be a minor problem. I'll have to work on that one. Uh, I actually may have to go out and get a couple SATA drives. So a couple more SATA drives. So, uh, the other computer has a couple SATA drives in it. I might be able to steal for this one. Uh, if I can get three of them, that would be ideal. I don't know about trying to get three of them. But, uh, no, it has, has three in there. I can't take all three. I can take two of the three. I know that. Uh, so, hmm... That kind of puts a, ran a wrench into my idea. It's only having one IDE slot. And there's no more hiding in there. Not a big deal. Um, one issue is, though, is I got two SATA pl power plugs on here, but I think one of those drives also has the IDE power, so that will be okay. I could actually run... I could run one IDE hard drive with the IDC ROM and two SATAs. That would work. That's actually what I might end up doing because this, like I said, has a SATA drive in it. The screws are on it right now, so I can't open it up. Trust me, that one does have a SATA drive in it. And I'll take the one SATA drive out of the other machine, probably the 80 gig and uh, throw it in here yeah that would work just notice that so this is actually a newer machine than that one then it has the smaller size port basically for a floppy drive but I think zip drives run off of that size as well this machine is actually really clean inside um, it booted up it booted up right away I had one minor issue on boot up I had ran back I had to ram backwards so the video didn't work at first, but that was the easy fix. I'll show you the back of this one. It has USB 3.0, four USB 2.0s. It has a half decent onboard sound. It has digital audio out, and obviously the standard PS2s, which I won't be using. It has a good back fan. All the fans do work on this machine. So I figure running this machine, I should be able to look up the model number and uh, get any driver disks that I need for this and any software that I'll need for this easier than on the MDG. So that is my plan. 
all these slots in the bottom. I'm actually just going to take them all out and put a fan, a secondary fan in there. Um, so I'll run three fans. I'll either take this one from the side of this case or I'll take the large back one out and all depends on which one will fit down there. And see on compacts, one thing I like on the newer compacts, this whole piece will come off as far as I, as far as I know. And then I'll just do that. But with that computer pulled out, I can access the other computer a lot easier to yank out anything that I might might need. So that will actually work out in my to my advantage. I won't have to run an enclosure like I thought. Uh, I'll only I'll only be down to three hard drives. So I may run an enclosure anyways. I don't know yet. Or I'll have to go and buy a couple SATA drives because this here should pull off. Don't know. Don't know how this works. Not 100% sure on that. Is that? No, nope, that pops the front. And the other side is uh, solid. You cannot take off the other side panel. Lift it up. Maybe if I hit that. Not true. See, I'm, st I'm still figuring out a few things with this case. Uh, let's look at some system specs. It obviously, it's Pentium 4, uh, Intel Pentium 4. It, this, this is what it came with. It came with 512 megs of RAM, 160 gig hard drive, uh, DVD drive. It came with none of that was included. And so, yeah. And it came with... That's pretty much it. So, not bad. It should be better than that MDG. And all this here will pop out. So I, and this one here should pop out. It looks like it will. So I would like to put my big fan, my dual fan, I'll show you. That dual fan there, it takes up two bays. And stick it right in here, just to help draw some more air through the case. I'm not going to touch any of these ones, so I just wanted to put it right in between these two here. If it will fit. I forget if that takes up two or three. I think that takes up two bays. That's what it looks like offhand. I'm going to have to take this all apart to get everything out of it. And I may show everybody when it's done. So, Actually, sorry, there's two uh, USB 3.0s. There's a second one on, on the front with two more additional USBs and headphones, which won't be used. So that is the new camera computer. Hopefully, it will be better than that one. It's free, so all I'm, all I gotta do is give the guy another computer and trade. So not a big deal. I'll have that one there, which will most likely go. And if this one is junk, I haven't lost much because this one here is junk as well. And um, let's go to a pawn shop and pick one up for cheap for a hundred bucks. So it doesn't bother me. So I'll talk to everyone later. So here is technically my new new trash pick computer. So. I'll show you guys it all when it's done. So, bye for now.